This video will show you how to relocate or move an HMI application from one HMI to another. For instance, this is a damaged, inoperable, unresponsive touch HMI. I need to relocate the HMI application to the new one. The HMI model number is 2711R-T40. No response from the touchscreen. To work on this damaged HMI, all we need is a mouse, either wire or wireless. USB port on the back of the HMI, plug it in. Now we need to use the mouse to find the go to HMI application button on the HMI. You can see I move the mouse. To clear all the error, HMI configuration. From the HMI configuration screen, we need to find the HMI IP address to set it to the new HMI. Go to Terminal Setting, Communication, see the IP address 182.168.1.2. To move the HMI application from this damaged HMI to the new one, all we need is a SD card. On the right side of the HMI, there is a SD card slot for the SD card. Let's insert the SD card to the HMI. Let's go back to the main HMI configuration screen. Now let's go to file manager. We will need to move this application to SD location. Copy. Succeeded. We are now done with the damage HMI. This is the new HMI. To set the IP address to it, it will need to be connected to the network. So we will need to go to terminal setting, communication, disable DHCP, set static IP address, it will be 192.168.1.2. Back, back, min. Okay, last step. Let's insert the SD card with the HMI application 
to the new HMI. From the main HMI configuration screen, go to File Manager. For source, we will select SD location. For destination, we will select internal. Copy. Operation succeeded. OK. After the HMI application was copied to the internal memory, we need to change source back to internal. and set as startup startup application now is the one we just copy from the sd core run That will be it. Thank you for watching.